If there's anything that Season 2 will be remembered for, it will be how it was able to take the characters we already knew and put them in situations that often tugged at our heartstrings and made us feel for the characters. Season 1 had a few of these moments, but I think Season 2 had even more. So, for my very first Top 7, I'm going to go over the emotional moments of Season 2. Number 7. Granny Smith's story about Ponyville. I was almost thinking about not including this moment since there's nothing really too emotional about it. But it was quite a surprise seeing Granny Smith tell her story and having the class clap at the end, and then Apple Bloom finally standing up for her granny. I feel like I would have liked this moment more if the episode wasn't spoiled for me. Someone told me the ending before I even had a chance to see it. She is not a kooky old lady! She is the most amazing pony in all Ponyville! Number 6. Rainbow Dash and the Mysterious Meridue Well. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Paleo, I thought you hated the Mysterious Meridue Well. Well, I do. But there's this one particular moment that just had me feeling really bad for Rainbow Dash. I'm still awesome. They're wrong. But then why am I all alone? I hate being all alone. Rainbow Dash is a character that seems to suffer from narcissism. And it's not just from this episode. Need I remind you? Yes! That means the ticket is mine! <laughs> I got the ticket! I got the ticket! Just because one has the ability to perform lots of magic does not make one better than the rest of us. Especially when you got me around being better than the rest of us. <laughs> uh. All of us are scared of that dragon. I'm not! She's already been established as that kind of character. Some just tend to forget. And at this moment, it just seemed like Rainbow had no one to comfort her or talk to her on her level. Pulling what is basically a prank on her isn't going to solve her problem. You can even tell at the end that Rainbow doesn't really get it. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. On to the next one. Number 5. The Smile Song. Now, I know I may be cheating by adding this in the emotional moments, but I really think it hit home for a lot of us. I know quite a few people who listened to this song when it was leaked, and many of us were raving over how incredible it was. I mean, just listen to this part. And then the ending of the song is what really got me. With all the background ponies singing, I literally teared up from the first few times I heard the song, and then again when I saw it in the episode. No other cartoon has been able to do that to me with a song. So that's why I'm including this in the emotional moments. Number 4. Twilight turning gray. I may have complained about the Return of Harmony 2-parter having some issues with pacing, but there was this one moment that stuck out for me. Twilight finally giving up on her friends was a really disheartening thing to see. And when she turned gray, it was one of the saddest moments I've ever seen from the show. Quite a way to open up Season 2. I've got new, better friends waiting for me at the farm. Yeah, I'm sick of you losers. Fine, leave. See if I care. I don't need you guys either. With friends like you, who needs... enemies? Number 3. Sweetie Belle's Disappointment The relationship between Rarity and Sweetie Belle is something that a lot of people were anxious to see in Season 2, and this episode had quite a few emotional moments in it, but there was one that I think really tugged at our heartstrings. But every time I make a mess, you get upset. But this was my mess in my house. And now I have to start from scratch. But I, I thought it would make you happy. The disappointment in Sweetie Belle's voice is so apparent. You can almost expect her to start tearing up. Now that's good voice acting. Number two, Twilight being told off. What makes this moment so great is that when Twilight tries revealing Cadence as evil, we're also trying to reveal her as evil. Because at this point, the audience doesn't know whether she's evil or not. 
And then when Cadence starts crying and leaves the room, all the others just scold Twilight for what she did, even Celestia herself. In fact, if I were you, I wouldn't show up to the wedding at all. Come on, y'all. Let's go check on the princess. You have a lot to think about. Look at that face. She's incredibly distraught. Her own mentor just scolded her, the person she looks up to the most. Not only did Twilight get scolded, but she was representing the audience at this point. Because we were on Twilight's side. So it's like the whole cast scolded us. Number 1. Fluttershy Crying in Hurricane Fluttershy I don't even have to tell you why this is number 1. Hurricane Fluttershy is one of the best episodes from Season 2 because of the performance that Fluttershy gives in it. Just... just watch this scene. You know why it's number one. Fluttershy, wait! So some punks poked a little fun at you when you got stage fright. Big deal! You aren't going to go quit just because of that, are you? Yes! <laughs> but I need you! I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash. I just don't have the courage right now. <laughs> so those are my top seven emotional moments of season two. Do you think I missed any? What are your top seven? Also, I'm going to try doing these every week until late August. So if you have any ideas for Top 7s, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to stay tuned for more. I'm Paleo, and thank you for watching.